working with some fabric medium today. I started this fabric painting back in, gosh, probably July, maybe even June. And I started it and I never finished it because I've just been so busy. And so um, I'm still busy. <laughs> I uh, just have been making some time to finish this project because I'd, I'd love to get this up and listed before uh, the holidays. So this is a fabric painting on like a denim fabric. This is a really lightweight denim. It, I got this, uh, it's like a denim dress. I got it at a thrift store and I like to use Liquitex Professional Fabric Medium. This is a small four ounce bottle and I find it lasts me uh, quite a while, the four ounce amount. And off the top of my head, I wanna say this is about $7 a bottle. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to have to look that one up later. But uh, I will I will put a link down below if you would like to buy some. This stuff is great. Now, how you use it is you mix it at a, about a 50-50 ratio with your paint, any kind of acrylic paint that you're using. doesn't matter if it's professional paint or craft paint. It works just great. So what I've done here is... Um, just like I said, I mix a 50-50 ratio and I just work in layers. You're gonna put a layer on, especially the white, and you're gonna notice that it, uh, it, it dries and it dries dark. So you're gonna have to keep adding layers, just like any painting, a lot of painting. Most painting is uh, layers, you know? So that's what I've done here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some of this fabric medium into a little container. Okay, as you can see, it's really thick. It's got a nice consistency to it. Now, since I've got my painting pretty much done, uh, what I like to do before I wash and dry, and yes, I always wash and dry when I'm done because I want to see what the final uh, piece is going to look like because I don't want to sell this to a customer without it being set uh, Once you wash and dry it you will set the paint And you'll get to see kind of what the finished product will look like because this will fade a bit When you wash and dry it even with the fabric medium now the great thing about using the fabric medium is you can paint on fabric and it keeps it flexible if you were just to take regular acrylic paint and paint onto this, it would be really uh, stiff and rigid and it would end up cracking and it wouldn't hold up well in washings. It would be a disaster essentially. So if you use fabric medium, mix it in with your paint, you can paint using regular paint. Don't waste your money on fabric paint. I love using my paints that I already have and then just grabbing the medium and going from there. That way I have, I mean, I have hundreds of colors of paint on my own. Um, and most of you crafters and or artists out there, I'm sure also have quite a paint stash. <laughs> so um, a $7 bottle of Liquitex fabric medium and you're good. So what do I do when I'm done? Now that I'm done with this painting and it has dried, I'm gonna go over it, and I've already started this before the video here. I'm going to go over it and seal it with a little bit more of the medium. And that's just what I do. It's really easy. It's just like applying a varnish or anything else. I personally like to do this because I think that it seals it in even better. Now, when you, when you do wash and dry, like I said, you're going to get some fading. I like to try, I like a little bit of fade, but I don't want it to fade a lot. So uh, I do one or two coats just like this, where I will go over my painting after it's all done and I'll seal it up with a little bit more of the fabric medium. 
So that's basically what I'll do is I'll go around and just seal this in real nice. I want to show you what this looks like before and after washing. Because I want you to see how great this actually holds up. And the good thing is uh, it'll hold up through multiple washings. It's not like a one and done. You've got uh, a real nice garment. When you're all done, it's sealed up, it's set. You've got a great garment that will last many washings. My advice would be to wash on a low heat or no heat. I would personally wash this with cold water and I would dry on a low heat or I would, I would hang to dry in some cases, but I personally am lazy. So I just like to throw it in the dryer and I want my garments that I paint to hold up to the dryer. So that's why we're really going to apply a nice extra coat of paint or of, um, fabric medium here to really get this sealed. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And then once I'm done applying this to the rest of my piece, I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to let it dry probably for a couple hours. I really want to make sure that fabric medium has dried and set into the, into the, uh, into the fabric. And then what I'm gonna do, obviously, is I'm going to wash and dry. Just like I said, I'm not gonna use any additives into my wash. Um, no OxyClean. Dear God, don't put OxyClean in there. Um, <laughs> I haven't done it, but OxyClean is amazing and it lifts things out of fabric, so you do not want to have um, something like that in your laundry while washing something like this. cold wash and go easy on the heat when you dry and that's what I'm going to do as soon as I'm done here and then we'll come back and I will show you exactly I'll even take photos because I'm in a room with really horrible lighting right now so um, I'll take a photo of this after it's dry and then once it's dry, I'll get a before shot for you guys. So you can see exactly what it looks like. Then I will wash dry, take it out, and then I will take an after shot. And you can see how much pigment uh, your fabric, this fabric painting in particular, has um, held on to. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. And uh, I'll be back in just a little bit to show you the results. 